Okay, for station two of this equilibrium lab, we're gonna start off by making our starting solution. Uh, we're gonna take 0 0.2 molar ion three chloride here. Uh, so far I've measured out one milliliter here into a 250 ml beaker. Uh, you see uh, that the iron chloride solution here is actually appearing as a yellow color. I've also measured a 0 0.2 molar KSCN solution here. Again, one milliliter of it here in the graduated cylinder. You'll notice that the starting color here is this sort of pale pinkish color. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mix these two together. Uh, we're gonna see the complex form, we're gonna see an immediate color change here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, dissolve it with a bunch of water. So uh, we have our ion three chloride and our KSCN. I'm just gonna mix these for you here. And you see very different in color here. Uh, you can look at the equilibrium uh, on the chart to figure out here what I formed here, but definitely a much more deep reddish color. I'm going to be dissolving in water here just to make the color intensity here a little bit uh, less strong. And then what we're going to do is we're going to steadily, uh, via different dropper bottles here, we're going to shift the equilibrium. Uh, we're going to monitor what happens to the color change to figure out whether it's shifted left or shifted right. So just going to add a little bit of water here just to dilute this here. Okay. Again, color intensity is going to respond depending on what the total volume is. I'm going to get it to uh, try to light, they call it a light amber color. Okay. Uh, maybe a sort of tone of a yellowy orange color there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to pour uh, the solution five milliliters into each of these test tubes here. We're just going to try to keep it constant here and then we're going to steadily shift the equilibrium. Uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've taken our standard complex solution here. I've measured out five milliliter portions and filled them up into these five test tubes. Test tube A is just gonna serve as a control for us. Uh, we're going to be shifting B through E and then comparing how the color uh, has changed. The stress ions that we're gonna be adding here involve the chemicals KCl, FeNO33, KSCN, and six molar NaOH. Uh, the exact number of drops doesn't matter, but again, we're going to approximate, uh, let's say, two drops here is about a milliliter. And what I'm going to do is going through test tubes B through E, we're just going to steadily shift it here. So starting with here, the KCL. So we're just going to steadily drop it in there. Okay. To make the color change a little bit more pronounced, uh, you can drop in more drops. Okay. But again, all we're doing here is we're trying to figure out here what's happening to the color to try to figure out um, which direction the equilibrium is shifted. So again, you can always compare it to uh, solution A here. Next one here is uh, iron three nitrate, so FeNO3. I'm gonna add that to test tube C here. Mix that up here. Okay. Again, add in a few more drops if I can. Okay, so you see a distinct color change from before. Uh, KSCN for test tube D. So add in, a, it says 10 drops here. Um, just gonna give it a squirt here. Again, the more pronounced that it's gonna be is uh, if you just add uh, more of the shift ion. Okay. And lastly, the sodium hydroxide, it's fairly concentrated compared to the other ones. These are only 0.2 molar, so this is actually six molar. Uh, we're gonna see what happens uh, inside this last container. So give it a little bit of a squirt here. Don't know if you can see that here. You can actually see, uh, not only is the color lighter here, you should be able to start seeing a precipitate forming. There's going to be a question later on to talk about uh, what's the identity of that precipitate there. So I'm just going to add a little bit more uh, sodium hydroxide. Okay. See it's getting a little bit more cloudy than before, uh, but definitely a different color uh, than what we had initially. Okay. So noting down those color changes here, you're going to be answering some questions. Which way has the equilibrium shifted and what was the stress ion that was responsible for that shift? Thanks guys.